down to the worst of Hurricane Ian. The death toll from the Category 4 storm continues to rise as rescue and recovery efforts continue. In Florida, about a million homes and businesses are still without power. CBS 2's Christian Benavidez joins us live from Northport, Florida with the latest. Christian, what can you tell us about the conditions there this morning? Andrea, good morning. Well, we have two situations that are currently unfolding. First, you have the Coast Guard, which has been going into these barrier islands, trying to rescue the survivors. And then here inland, major concerns because of flooding. In fact, a river overflowed yesterday, and it got so bad that they had to shut down a stretch of a major highway here. So things certainly are difficult for those who, for those crews that are trying to get to those who remain out on the barrier islands, and even. Uh, around here in southwest Florida inland. If you look right behind me, that's what a lot of the neighborhoods sort of look like just uh, flooded and th there are times that crews have to get in there and do water rescues in order to just get people out. Now let me just sort of explain the difference here because inland you have certain situations where they're not necessarily life threatening, but rather it's people who just cannot leave their homes and their homes have no electricity. Now over on the barrier islands, of course, you have uh, no electricity, you have no access to telephone service, so it's just so much more difficult to be able to get uh, those people out tonight. There, or, or rather, uh, later today, there are going to be some people that are going to be taken out of Pine Island and brought inland. So they are making progress on that end, but it is extremely difficult. One official described it like this: when a, a Coast Guard member, when a Coast Guard diver went into a home that was still completely submerged, went inside and discovered human remains, but couldn't count the number of bodies that were inside. So certainly we have a current death toll, which is in the dozens. According to a CBS News count, around 70 people have been confirmed dead down here. But overall, that number certainly could rise as the days go on. That's, that's heartbreaking to hear those stories. What is the latest with the electricity and when are authorities saying that it'll be back on? Well, look, at its height, we had 2.5 million customers that were completely out of power here in Florida. That number has shrunk. It's now around 900,000 customers with no power, but certainly it's going to be very difficult for some of these communities that were just absolutely decimated by Hurricane Ian because the infrastructure is going to have to get rebuilt in order for electricity to come back to certain areas. Now, for those areas where, like, like right here inland and southwest Florida, areas like Northport, the power will eventually come back and right now crews are working around the clock to get that done but in the barrier islands and even in Fort Myers where it's certainly looking bleak and there's just no clear timeline because again the infrastructure needs to be rebuilt and then just lastly how can people how do you think people here in the tri-state area can help we have so many friends and family living in Florida what do they need well, look, there are so many organizations currently that are, are raising funds, places like the Red Cross that are helping out down here. But what what I will say is just uh, looking out to make sure that you're helping the right organizations that are here on the ground, really getting some of that work done. A lot of people need water. They still need food, especially we, we're really going to get a, a sense of what people need the most once we get those people that are still stuck on the barrier islands out here into the mainland. Just seeing you know where those people are going to be placed and how that's going to happen and of course there are a number of pets that have also been rescued and uh, those poor animals that have had to go to different places uh, in the meantime for uh, shelters uh, in fact a number of them have been sent to the northeast because of you know the the need down here there's just not enough space Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, the Christian Benavides live for us in Northport, Florida. Thank you so much for your live perspective this morning.